guys, show for up reviews and today we're a sneaker review and unboxing of the Bathing Ape Adidas Stan Smith. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slam that thumbs up, helps us greatly, drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. I just want to take the time and opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. And let's go. So today we've got a look at the Stan Smith bait. And we got this in the camouflage colorway, the fake camo in the UK size seven and a half. It's US eight and it's European 41 and the third. So just before we get unboxing, this right here is kind of iconic because this is a bathing ape. This is kind of iconic because this is a bathing ape. And Adi, another collaboration between the two actually. They've done tons of collabs in the past before, but this is like part of the 30th anniversary of a bathing ape. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna say bait because that's what a lot of people know it as, and it's bait. And actually we'll look at the box you can see it's obviously looking like a normal Adidas box but you can see the bait camo all around you know with the monkey or well, the ape actually sorry right there all around and this nice like silver foil with a free stripe and this part comes with an extra pair of laces and they are the camo ones so I'll just quick show you right there camo laces because that's what Bape are like, famous for. And they're famous for their camo. If you don't know who Bathing Ape are, quick little lesson in there. A Japanese um, shoewear brand founded by Nigo, who is probably one of the greatest, most influential people in fashion at the minute. And um, it's worn by tons of like celebrities, rappers, um, and loads of people, like really influential in the game. A Bathing Ape. So do check it out. You get a moment, and here is the sneaker itself. So the sneaker itself, the Stan Smith. Loads of people, I mean, a lot of young guns actually, believe it or not, just think it's the name of a shoe. It's not. It's the name of the famous tennis player Stan Smith. And obviously, this is like a Bates version because the iconic Stan Smith is an all-white sneaker. Or you've got the green paneling at the back and this one it just screams babe it's like that iconic camo green and brown with you know the amazing ape logo all around and yeah this just screams babe doesn't it so we'll look at the detailing now for you so start with the outsole so this outsole is essentially an all rubber outsole cup sole unit you can see it sticks to the same Stan Smith principles. You can see the same traction patterning on a lot of the Stan Smiths you see on the market, even the OG ones. Again, as I mentioned before, the Smith sole unit is essentially a cup sole unit, so it's all rubber around. But we move on to the upper, and it's in this leather that's decorated in the famous Bape camo pattern for you all around. And usually, so if you were to look at the tongue, the tongue of Stan Smith has the face of Stan Smith. But this time, you've got the Bathing Ape logo right there, which is actually, for those that don't know, is based off um, the early Planet of the Apes um, ape, like the, the characters in there. So it was taken from that. And then you've got Stan Smith's face right here in this gold embellishment. You got normal lacing with the 30th anniversary detail right there. Bait. And on the lateral side, so if you look at the lateral side of the sneaker, you've got the Stan Smith logo in gold. And if you look at the heel on the right hand side, you've got the Bape logo. And on the left, you've got the Stan Smith. Also, you look at the insole unit, so this insole, it's a foam insole, kind of mirroring the heel unit. So you've got Adidas on the left and Bape on the right. And you've got a cowl print decorative decoration on the insole also. Screams Bape because of the colorway. Well, you can see 
is the Stan Smith. It's very recognizable. Great, great collab between the two brands. There is also a Superstar, which is another one of those Adidas icons that you see. But the Stan Smiths, I can see them coming back. If you're looking for like a plain white sneaker, go get yourself a pair of, of white Stan Smiths. But if you're a big sneaker head, big in the game, you love your streetwear, try and get a pair of the Stan Smith a bathing in collab. So I'm gonna try on for you right now. When it comes to Adidas, I typically wear a UK size eight. However, these are half size down, these are UK size seven and a half. These fit actually perfectly. And it was it a bit stiff to begin with, because that's the, you know, the, the lever itself. But I've, from my memories of wearing Stan Smiths, you just have to break them in. However, I feel like you're gonna be ruining a lot of the detail when you wear these bad boys in, but these are really cool on. Obviously, big shout out to Babe, Nigo, if you're watching, we know that you are. Big shout out to you, 30 years, what a, what a time, what a time. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews on Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, peace.